In the early hours of January 3rd, the U.S. military launched a drone strike in Baghdad. It killed Major General Qasem Soleimani, a high-level Iranian military leader. Soleimani, who commanded the Quds Force of the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, had been traveling as part of a two-car convoy near the Baghdad airport. Images emerged showing the vehicles as masses of charred metal. Experts say Soleimani was a unique and possibly irreplaceable leader. He was a towering figure in Iran's power projection across the region, with close links to a network of paramilitary groups that stretches from Syria to Yemen. He joined the Revolutionary Guard at a young age and before turning 30 began crossing to fight behind enemy lines during the Iran-Iraq War in the 80s. In the late 1990s, Soleimani took control of the Revolutionary Guard's Quds Force, the segment that props up proxy militias outside Iran. Before that point, they were responsible for rooting the powerful Hezbollah militia in Lebanon. In 2003, following the U.S. invasion of Iraq, Soleimani led the Quds Force in aiding Shiite militias in the country. As many as 608 American troops died because of those forces, according to the Pentagon. During Syria's civil war, the Quds Force backed President Bashar al-Assad's government against the Syrian Free Army. Keeping Assad in power meant retaining a path for Soleimani's allies to get weapons across the Middle East. In the fall of 2018, President Trump withdrew the United States from the International Nuclear Arms Treaty with Iran, and Quds Force began to attack U.S.-used bases abroad. In recent years, Soleimani exercised diplomatic power in addition to his military command. He had been touted as a possible presidential candidate. Experts warned that the strike could serve as a catalyst for greater violence. His death has prompted Iran to vow, quote, supreme revenge.